Welcome everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a MIDI instrument from any audio sample. So in this tutorial I'm going to be using Melodyne and FL Studio 20, and if you don't have Melodyne you can use any other auto-tune software, but for the purpose of this video I'm going to be demonstrating in Melodyne. Obviously uh, you need to have a clean version of the sample that you want to convert into a MIDI instrument, but in this case I've already prepared a sample and it's Fluttershy's Yay. Before anything else, deactivate the time grid and set the BPM. So 120 will work. Any BPM will be fine, but make sure that it's set to something. Then just import your sample. All right, so we have the sample imported. You just want to make sure, just make sure it's right against the bar there. This will be important later, so make sure that your audio is right on beat. At this point, you can turn active back on so that you're locked into the BPM. So the first thing you'll want to do is correct the pitch of your sample. Uh, if it splits into two samples like this, then you probably just need to do something like move it upward. Um, it really just depends. Another thing you need to do is change the pitch modulation to 0%. Then once you got that sorted out, drag the sample down and take the sample down really, really low. You want to get the most out of your MIDI instrument, so you need to make sure that you actually bring the pitch of the first note to below the minimum of what sounds good. And it's, it's also very important that your starting note is a C, so I would pick between this C and the one below, which would sound like... And I'm pretty sure that's beyond unusable. So we'll start here, Fluttershy sounding like a smoker. Then you want to paste the note again. Might as well paste it a few more times. And what you want to do is make a chromatic scale. So we're just going to start pitching this upward, one by one. Copy and paste a few more times. And continue this until you're at the point where the sample sounds like a tire screeching on the road or metal grinding. So now we have the entire range of usable notes and now would be a good time for me to save before I lose all my progress. Yay. Right, so it sounds pretty good to me. Let's export the sound now. Export, export. If you want to save space you can convert your WAV file into a FLAC. And now what you want to do is open FL Studio and add a generator plugin slice X. And then just drag your sample in. And so now what you want to do is click regions and then detect pitch regions. And then whatever you do, don't click on Apple Studio for about uh, several minutes or else it'll crash because um, this is a very resource intensive process that takes a long time. In fact, um, I'll just be back in a few minutes. All right, so it looks like it finished. Um, and as you can see, we've got pitch regions, and if you open the piano roll, and scroll apparently to C4, okay, okay, so it looks like the issue is FL Studio goofed up a little bit, and put an extra marker right at the very beginning of this, so what we need to do is just delete the second one, and then drag this region back out to around there, that should be good. And so now, I don't know what that A4, yeah, that's this really, really small marker here. So as you can see, sometimes it takes a little bit of fine tuning, but we got it working good now. Now we have a MIDI instrument from Fluttershy's Yay, wonderful. So obviously the only thing to do next is to dump a MIDI file in there and see how this is going to sound. So I'm very excited. So I just put river flows in you. Let's see how it sounds. Very wispy. The pure nature of Fluttershy's yay, but still very beautiful. We got an instrument from literally just, yay. we turned that into 
pretty fun, right? So uh, let me know if you guys have any other questions about this in the comments and be sure to subscribe and leave a like because I will be showing more tutorials like this that are helpful in the future. I love you all, bro hoof, peace out.